Hello, today I wanted to show you how to make the loop stitch. I'm gonna show you how to make the loop stitch in the rounds, but also in rows. If you learn to make them in rounds, you can follow my patterns here and make this hedgehog, or you can make this loop stitch strip. I'm just gonna use this three millimeter hook and also some cotton yarn that I've found here. First, I'm gonna show you how to make the loop stitch in the row. You're gonna make a number of chains, it doesn't matter how many. So here is how to do a slip knot. Just make a loop, pinch here, and then go through the hole and pull up a loop. Now you can make some chains. I'm gonna do like maybe 11. So one, two, Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. First, I'm gonna do one single crochet row. So you can insert the hook in the second chain from the hook, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. So this is how to do a single crochet. If you twist the yarn a little bit, you can see little bumps here. So they are not so easy to spot always, but here it's hiding. And if you crochet in those bumps, your edge will be nicer. Now you can see they are sticking up more. You see here, there is a little bump. And you get a nicer edge here, if you do that. Now we have made the first row and I'm gonna chain one and turn. And now we're gonna do the loop stitch. So what you wanna do is hold the yarn here like on top of your finger, your index finger like so, and then you insert the hook in the same stitch. You can grab the yarn here, you put it on the back, you pull here and you pull through like so. Now you have three loops on the hook. You let go of your loop yarn over and pull through all loops. So I'm gonna show you one more time. You go here, grab the yarn here from behind, pull it through, and now you have three loops. So if you want, you want, you can also adjust the size here by pulling or doing like so. By pulling here, you make it smaller. And if you pull the loop, you make it bigger. And then you yarn over and pull through all three loops. So I'm gonna do more. So we're gonna finish the row here. Go here, grab the yarn, pull through. You can adjust the size here, you can let go when you're happy. Yarn over and pull through all loops. This is how it looks like. You can see when you crochet in the rows, you the loops will only appear on the one on one side. So this is why we have to alternate with the loop stitch row and the single crochet row when we're crocheting in the rows. Go here, grab the yarn and pull. So you always have three loops here. So you wanna aim, you wanna try and get the same size. 
I haven't been paying so much attention, but if you practice, also you can adjust the loop like I showed you. But this is a very really fun stitch if you want to have some structure in your crochet. You can also, with other patterns, you can just switch out normal single crochets with a loop stitch, like in Amagurumi. I can show you later how to make it in the round, like so. So here, now we are finished with one row. And now chain one and turn, and now we're gonna do a single crochet row, because if I start to crochet the loop stitch here, they will appear on the wrong side. So here I'm just going to do a single crochet row. And now, chain one and turn. We can do one more loop stitch row together. Here, go into the first chain here, the same stitch as where your chain one is. Then you like do this maneuver with your hook. And you pull and pull through. Let go, yarn over and pull through all the three loops. With this stitch you're also using some yarn because you're making this loop so you're using more yarn than normal so you have to keep that in mind when to might maybe buy some extra if you're planning a bigger project. This could also be a fun like purse to make these loops and have it made into a bag or something you can make two squares and with those loops and crochet them together and there you have a bag, like so. So this is how it looks, it's a very really fun stitch and once you have made a few rows you don't see the gap here so much because of the loops. Also you can cut the loops if you want to and just play around with it and have fun with it. Also, I just remembered, I could also show you how to do a decrease and an increase with the loop stitch in the in the row. Let's go show. Now I have if I have four loops left, so one, two, three, four, and I want to do a decrease. Just go here, grab the yarn, and just do the first step like so, and then you just leave it here, let go, and now you just start a new one like so. And now you have five loops, you let go and yarn over all five loops. So that is how to do decrease. You can see it's a little bigger here, you have a little bump here going on. And if I want to do this one more time, I can do the same. Like so. So now you can see the decreases here. If I want to do an increase, I just do two loop stitch in one stitch. So that is how to, and here I want to finish the row with the normal, just one loop stitch in each, each stitch. So, and when you finish, you just cut the yarn 
I'm going to pull up the loop like so, and there you have your loop stitches in the row. And now we want to do them in the round. I have some patterns showing this also here on YouTube. But you don't have to, because we are crocheting in rounds, you don't have to do the single crochet row in between. You just, just start off with a magic ring. This is how I like to do mine. You can also chain four, join with a slip stitch if you don't know how to make one. And now I like to start one row with six single crochets. You can also start with the loop stitches, but I'm gonna do this with six single crochets. So now I just hold my hand like I did before. I go into the first stitch and I just go here behind and just finish like we did. Like so. And then of course I want to increase because I'm working on a maybe hedgehog or my sheep or whatever and I want to make uh, these loop stitches. So I just do two loop stitches in that one stitch. So it's very easy. If you know how to make the loop stitch, you can just like so. And now we have here this going on. Here is the next stitch. Two loop stitches in each stitch. You can also put a stitch marker there. Now we just continue. Eventually you will, you will get used to holding the yarn like this and it will be no problem. But this is how you just follow the pattern and you just replace the single crochets with the loop stitches. So in the next round, go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have two more stitches here. In the next round, you don't have to do one single crochet a row like with a, or one single crochet round with the, like we did before. You just continue here. So if I would do an increase row, I would just do one single crochet in the next and one increase in the next if I would get from 12 to 18 stitches and so on and so forth. This is how to do those loop stitches in the round and the further you get you're going to get more dense and then you can make this this is some this is the hedgehog and this is the hedgehog pattern that I made a couple of years ago and it's using the loop stitches you can also make cute ears here I didn't do that but uh, this is like you start off here with a single crochet row and then you just switch to the loop stitches. And the same principle if you want to, if you get to the decreases, or when you get to the decreases, you just do the decrease like we did before. You insert hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull the loop through. You leave the loops on the hook, you let go here on the, of the loop, insert the hook in the next stitch, and then you do one loop stitch and then you have five loops on the hook you let go of the loop as well you yarn over and pull through all of those five loops and there you have those decreases Be, um, just make sure you can see it here but uh, when you're doing the decreases it can create little gaps with the loop stitches so just make sure to crochet a little tighter maybe than usual or maybe you can size down with your hook that will be a recommendation but this is how to make the loop stitches I hope that you like this tutorial be sure to subscribe and uh, notice and hit the bell notification to get a uh, message when I upload a new video 
I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.